Uh, in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to change the battery in the Dell Latitude. Before you attempt this, please wear an anti-static band. This is best practice, but it is not mandatory. Remove any SD cards or anything that is plugged into the sides of the laptop. Make sure the laptop is off. Flip the laptop upside down and unscrew the screws that hold on the back cover. There are eight screws. You do not have to remove the screws, you just need to unscrew them. For example, if you have a look at that screw, it's got a larger thread section versus the neck. And the reason why is that it doesn't have to be fully removed. So you can just loosen it and leave it in the cover. Right, somewhere here in the middle, you'll see there's a slight recess, a slight gap that allows you to get your tool inside there. Try use plastic tools. So there you can see I've got my pry tool. Right, so I've got my pry tool in there. Now what you can do is just grip it with your fingers and then shift this pry tool along the way. And you'll have to actually pry it out, pry this cover out. Now, if you're not coming right, you can use something like this. And all I'm doing is I'm wedging it in there and lifting it up. There we go. There. There. And just guide it here. Right. Now you can do the rest with your fingers. Now, very important, do not peel this. Do not go like this. You'll snap it. What you want to do is go with your fingers and gently unclip it. There we go. Right, so the back cover can come off now. And as I said, the screws remain in place. As you can see, they stay there. That is why you do not need to remove them. Right, if you look closely, you can see some of the clips on the side. You see where my finger's pointing. Now, when you take your pry tool and you separate the back cover from the main unit, just be careful. Do not shove the pry tool too deep because you can damage the circuit board and maybe the USB port and things. To change the battery, there's a screw over here. And one over here. Right, once you've removed the screws to remove the battery, there's a little uh, grip handle here. Use a balanced force and you're pulling upwards. There we go. So I'm pulled upwards and now the battery goes with this cable. So you want to remove this and grab it there and just fish out that cable. And there is the battery. To reinstall the battery, make sure the new battery has the cable seated in there. If your replacement battery does not come with its own cable, you can reuse this one. There is the connector. And there are two little clips that need to be lifted. If you don't lift them, it's fine. You can just peel this out with your finger, but use a balanced force. So what you want to do is you want to grab it both sides and you want to do it like that. Now there are two little raised portions there and there, two and two, and there's a piece there and there which would have to be lifted. Why I don't recommend uh, putting screwdrivers there because you'll end up shorting the battery. So all I recommend is just pull it out with your hands. So there we go. There's pushed in, and if you want to take it out, you just pull it like that. There we go. To reinstall the battery, you're going to come at this angle because there's little clips on the sides there there so you want to seat it like that and just before you put the battery in just make sure that it sits in this channel there's a little channel for it there now screw the battery in and then fasten the power cable here Quite a firm press, and now you just need to close the back cover. Note the speakers on this side must be lined to these plastic grills over there. So I just sit that like that. And now what you want to do is you want to take a firm but even press. And go around and make sure that all the clips are seated. Right. 
Right, do a final check that the seams are all tight. And thanks for watching. Cheers.